Hi everyone, welcome to the 16th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about label encoding. So what is label encoding? Label encoding is the process through which we convert the categorical columns that contain strings into numerical value. So the question arises is, why do we use label encoding? Machine learning algorithms can only read numerical values. So we need to convert the categorical columns that contain strings into number. So let's take an example and I'll explain you and then we start, we'll start with the coding. coding. Suppose we have the column that contain red, blue, green, yellow. So if when we apply label encoding, so red will be assigned 0, 0. And after that, blue is 1, 1. Green will be assigned 2, 2 and 2. And then yellow will be assigned 4 and black will be assigned 5 and 5. So you can see all the different color is assigned a different numeric values. We achieve, this is the output of label encoding. So how do we achieve it through our coding? So I'll be starting it in a while, but let me uh, recap what we have learned in the past, uh, like in the session 14 and 15 about uh, imputation. Like uh, we have our data set. So in the DF data set, we have age column, which is age column. Then we have the occupation, employment, status, employment type, and salary, which contains n uh, null values. So if I give DF dot set. And also, now what we'll do, we will fill the uh, string column like country, not country, the which, which are the column that contain string here, occupation, employment, status, and employment type with the modal values. So we'll execute this and it will be filled with the modal values. Now, if we give now df dot is null dot dot sum. Now you can see now only age and salary which is a numeric column now please note is that contains null value now to to handle this situation where the numeric uh, uh, columns contain null value we'll use imputi imputation okay before that uh, we'll apply we'll take the features till uh, what we know that purchase column the second last last column is a purchase so till from country till salary we will take as a feature and the last column will be our label so if we give here features this is our feature and we give labels now we'll impute uh, we will uh, Now you see each we have to uh, execute the step uh, the imputation step uh, line by line and now we can see uh, our uh, df1 data set which we have created using the feature df1 dot is null dot sum see each and every uh, like column is now filled with the values not a single columns or single cell is empty now 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 start the next step which is called the main uh, agenda of this session is label encoding. Now, so how do we achieve label encoding? So in which field we need to apply Okay, so in which field do we need to apply label encoding? It's field number 0, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. So what we need to do, we need to create the object of label encoding. So we'll create encode equals to okay we have not uh, 
we need to also import our label encoder from sk dot v processing import label encoder okay now which are the features we need to column number zero Underscore transform features I will execute this okay we have not created a, a object now we'll create the object and do it okay so now our, our first feature is transform so if we give features so you can see the first uh, the first column is being transformed also if you want to convert it earlier one is equals to pd dot data pd dot data plane features if it is here df1 dot head so see the first column is converted now similarly we'll convert the other columns So this is 0, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. We execute this. Give df one dot head. So you can see each and every column now is converted into number. Also, if you want to see feature columns, you can see each and every column is filled perfectly. There is no nn value. So this is the way how we will use label encoding. In the next session, I'll be coming up with one hey hot encoding. One hot encoding is basically used in the situation where we are assigning these values. You, for the country, we have assigned 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, all this value. This assigning this value will do a lot of harm to our model. It will give a wettage to the, uh, to the specific rows and which will not predict the exact uh, accuracy or exact prediction will not be done. So in order to avoid this situation, we'll use uh, one hot encoding to convert this uh, four or five numeric value into Boolean values, like adding a dummy. So thanks a lot for viewing this uh, video. If you feel this video is helpful, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Thank you.